my name is Kevin Berg and I'm the Director of Solution Engineering at Sauce Labs. Today I'm going to show you how to organize your tests on Sauce Labs at the build or job level. I'm excited to have my tests running on Sauce Labs both in parallel and across multiple browsers and operating systems. I can see all of my tests running individually, but what I'd really like is to be able to see a bit more of a holistic view. Uh, this would be at the job or the, the build level, which is the way I'm grouping my tests. In order to do that, I can simply go back to my code to the desired capabilities section and add one for build. So that's right here. And then I can put anything I'd like here. And all of the jobs sent to Sauce Labs with this build name will be grouped together with a new UI to make it much more easy to, to understand and, and see the results of my tests. So what I'll do is save this and I'll just kick off the test again and we can go back to the Sauce Labs dashboard to see what it looks like. I can see that my tests are running, seeing individually again on all the different browsers and operating systems. But I go to the, if I go to the left side, I can now select the builds tab. And under here, I'll be able to see all the, the builds that I've created. And you can see the one that I've just started that we named my build one. So if I click on that, I'll see all of the tests that are still running the ones that have passed and failed, and I can see how they've reported at the build or job level. So this tells me all of the information at that level and more of one glance. So to have this done automatically for me, I can take advantage of our CI tool that we're using. And to do that, I can use the environmental variable provided by the CI tool that I'm using. For example, if I'm using Jenkins, I can simply use the build ID environmental variable that is automatically added by Jenkins and pass it to my build. So I'll just copy my variable here. And instead of defining a string under the build capability, I'll simply add that variable. And next time when I run my tests, it will automatically use that environmental variable to populate the build name in an incremental fashion based upon the Jenkins build and the Jenkins build number. That concludes our demo on organizing tests by build in Sauce Labs. Thank you for watching.